We start here. The installation of Prince Lekukela Mojaji is being held at the Royal Palace in Mojaji's Gluff in Limpopo. He succeeds the mother of the late Queen Magobo Mojaji and, of course, the sixth. The prince's sister and the last-born daughter, Princess Masala Nabo, through her foster parents, lost an urgent interdict to stop the installation of her brother. For the past two centuries, the Bolobedu were reigned over by females. This live update now comes from SABC reporter Pimani Baloi, who is at the installation ceremony. Pimani, thank you so much for your time this morning. So this is the first time in 200 years that we're seeing a male ruler. How are the people of Limpopo feeling about this? Good morning, Mklolisi. Indeed, this is the first time in 200 years that the Balobedu nation are said to have a male ruler. This is known as a rain-making queenship, Mklolisi, where the last queen, Makubo, the late queen, Makubo Mujaji, was known as a rain a rain, the rain queen of the Balobedu people. There's been multiple uh, ways that people have received this news that her, do her son, instead of her daughter, Prince Likukela, has been installed on that, uh, on that throne. With social media users questioning if government's uh, recognition of this queenship will change in any way. But the family has always insisted that over the years they have had male rulers. This is just that at this point they have, they have chosen yet again a male ruler. This is not a, it's anything that will affect their rainmaking uh, uh, powers as a nation or any other thing. So at this point, yes, indeed, for the first time in 300 years, a male heir has been appointed on the Valuvedu uh, uh, throne policy. So Pimani, uh, the lead up to this particular, to those particular proceedings there were also marred by court battles after court battle. So talk to us about why was the prince's sister challenging uh, the installation ceremony? So Mkolisi, when the late queen died in 2005, she had two children, Princess Masala Nabo, who was the youngest, and Prince Likukela, who was the oldest. And at the time, the queenship was being led by female heirs. So I think uh, South Africa and the whole nation at the time assumed that the, the, the female child of that queen would take over the throne. And over the years, that's what we've been thinking, that Princess Masala Nabo would... Uh, still continuing to speak to us about this particular ceremony that is happening, just giving us a bit of a background in terms of what has happened till this point that we at right now. So, Pimani, I uh, think you're back on the line now. Talk to us now about, you know, why uh, Princess Masala Nabo uh, was, was, of course, um, why, why there was a challenge rather uh, towards the lead up to these particular proceedings. And are we likely to see Princess Masala Nabo at the ceremony today? Um, Tolisi, that's a question that we asked to the royal family like yesterday. Is the pri princess going to be present? And at the point, they didn't know. But let me bring in my guest, Tolisi, so that we speak to him. I'll go to explain further on your question after having this conversation with the, ro the spokesperson of the royal council, uh, Mr. Rone Morasetla. Mr. Morasetla, thank you again for speaking to us. Let's speak about the ceremony. It started last night. It's proceeding today. What happened last night in our absence and in the absence of these cameras that are keeping South Africa updated? And what do we expect to info unfold today? Pimani, Mogo, Leba, Libeli, all the viewers throughout the whole country and also internationally, we can confirm standing here that indeed. The ceremony for the installation of His Majesty King Elect, the Gugela Mujaji, started last night. You can read from my my eyes that indeed some of us did not sleep. Be that as it may, what is happening is today, this morning, we are wrapping up. I'm already from the royal residence, and the people you see here exclusively exclusively only the indunas will be allowed to go through the gate into the royal residence that's where we are going to formally wrap up the installation of his majesty king elect likukela mujaj speaking about the king elect will we be introduced to him as members of the media might we get an address is he gonna address his subjects what can we expect pertaining to him as i said yesterday and before yesterday this is but a mere 
traditional and customary celebration. And we have got our own secrets. The secret which says you will see some and not others. And for this reason, because of our own custom and tradition, not now, you will not have, be able to see the king elect who will be enthroned on the day of coronation. You won't be able to see him today. Uh, before we wrap, uh, Mr. Mrasila, last briefly, Mtolisi was also asking me, you said this is a family affair, Princess Masala Nabo family. Should we expect her to be present? What's happening with that regard? Princess, I repeat, Princess Masala Nabo is our daughter and she will remain our daughter. We arranged a rightful place for her. But unfortunately, she is not here with us because those who can thieve, they have thieved her. She has been stolen by those who are able to snatch her. Unfortunately, we don't have her. But we are going to continue to fight and we will fight as a until the princess comes back home. A rightful place. Yabu Makazi. Kadikulu is waiting for her. Kimwanawa la bale la buhosi. And elejatil tofita, you will come and talk to me. Abuiliaye. Thank you so much, Mr. Morasetla. Mtolisi, that is the spokesperson of the Mujaji Royal Council, briefly telling us what happened yesterday and what we expect to unfold. As we heard him, Mtolisi, we are not yet sure if the, pri the princess will be here, but it does not look like she will be. Mtolisi?